Mr. Douglas. Yeah. Yes. Welcome, wondrous people of power. Yo, yo. <laughs> Thank you for hanging with me, Mr. Douglas. This episode, we've got chapter 24 and one singular juicy excerpt here for you from Ingo Swan's Secrets of Power, Volume 1, which I had the pleasure to narrate and have also narrated the second volume, which will be coming out soon. I wanted to say shortly. Soon. We got it mixed up. Shoon. But today, we're going to go through this nice fat chunk of an excerpt that I have prepared from the audio version. This one's great. It's jam-packed. It's like one of those big deli sandwiches, you know what I mean? Where you're just like, whoa, whoa, how am I even gonna? It's like that. This whole book is, it's why I'm here. It's why we're here together, exploring and empowering ourselves. This chapter is yet another addition to the mental mansion expanding Ingo has us going through. A way of considering importance and what we find important as compared to significant and what we consider significant. The two were not the same, though in modern language, at least in English, they could be used interchangeably. Now let's go ahead and lean into this well-stacked excerpt, this deli sandwich of an excerpt. Catching the wild audiobook quote from Ingo Swan, Secrets of Power, Volume 1, Chapter 24, is rare. But when it does happen... It usually packs a lot of good information in it. Let's see if we can't get closer in. Although the English terms importance and significance are used as synonyms, there is an essential and crucial nuance between them, which clearly establishes that they should not be thought of as synonymous. Importance is an extension of import the principal meaning of which is to bear or convey as meaning. Importance, thus, implies the power of influencing or the quality of having evident value, either generally or in a particular relation, and often by merely existing. In contrast, significance is an extension of signify, the principal and original meaning of which is to betoken, foreshadow, or indicate as something to take place. In other words, a signification is a portent, the meaning of which is something that foreshadows a coming event, an omen, prophetic indication, or significance. Strictly speaking, then, importance can bear, carry, or convey meaning, but significance portends something. One of the principal reasons that the definitions of the two terms have been collapsed into each other is that foreshadowing, omens, and prophetic indications have had a lot of bad press during the modernist period of our present civilizations. The foregoing discussions do not merely represent terminology hair-splitting, largely because innate in our species are powers having to do with sensing and identifying factors that foreshadow this or that. Indeed, no species could be thought of as possessing high intelligence unless it innately contained faculties for recognizing to one degree or another what's going to happen. Moreover, failure to sense what's going to happen can be thought of as one of the definitions of stupidity, i.e. slow of mind, unthinking, dulled in feeling or sensation, benumbed, senseless. And here it must be mentioned that a large part of getting and maintaining power is based on knowing what's going to happen. And in fact, such is almost as precious as power itself. Indeed, if the powerful don't know what's going to happen, then their days assuredly are numbered. Taking this into consideration, power consists not only of control, authority, and influence over others, but also of artful controlling and concealing foreknowledge of what's going to happen. A full part of this control over others simply and expediently means that the others should not have foreknowledge of what's going to happen. Thus, ways and means must be devised so that the others become slow of mind, unthinking, dulled in feeling or sensation, benumbed or senseless regarding foreknowledge. One of the possible reasons why ideas of importance, meaning, and significance, portending, have become collapsed into each other is that while it may be okay to find out what things mean, it is not okay to find out what they portend. 
That not-okay aspect, of course, portends gaining empowerment and power. All right, see, now that is more unfogging of the map, more identifying portions and pathways in the growing spectrum of power. All right, let's break it down. Let's get into it. These are the points that really popped out to me. Now, important, which comes from the base import, means to bear, carry, or convey meaning, having evident value. You know, like water. Water is important. But this is cool. We're shaping our frames of reference. You know what I mean? Significance, on the other hand, is coming from the base signify, which is to be token or shadow or indicate as something to take place. Like in the future, significance portends something, something like an omen, a sign, a synchronicity, a prophetic indication or significance. It's a portent. That is different than important. They spell differently, important and portent. So importance can carry or convey meaning, but significance portends something. There is significance in knowing which type of waves in the water come before a storm. This isn't just getting into the mud with word meanings like Ingo says. This is <laughs> important. And that has to do with our innate species-wide power of having to do with sensing and identifying factors that foreshadow anything. I like this idea that as a marker of high intelligence, a species needs to have innate faculties for recognizing one way or another, and to varying degrees, what's going to happen. And we do this when the wind blows a certain way. People can smell rain in the air. My mother and myself, we both comment on how we're knowing when a cold front is coming in because our bones in certain places start to hurt. It's my face and my knees and her forehead and her knees. The knees are our personal temperature and pressure gauge. The knees will tell the weather. <laughs> but seriously, we have many avenues within us at which our powers of what's going to happen show up. The human species is a power species. Now, a power play or a power move would, as Ingo points out, be a kind of limiting by as many means and avenues necessary the recognition of the ability to do this. If it is derided enough, sequestered into fringe corners of culture, if your curiosity about this stuff is kind of hammered out of you at an early age, that'll do a lot. That'll do a lot to greatly mitigate people's recognition, let alone ability to cultivate their what's going to happen, kneecap sensations, or what have you. Keeping us dull and benumbed in feeling and sensation when it comes to foreknowledge would be a pretty good power play. And last one, one of the reasons we see significance and importance as merely interchangeable, is, as Ingo points out, because it's fine to know what things mean, beneficial for our complexifying society even, but it's not okay to find out what they portend, how to comprehend the carried meaning to discover its portentions, its signs and signals of what these particular waves may be bringing in. But that will do it for Chapter 24, a fantastic baggie of gold doubloons as far as I'm concerned. Thank you, Ingo. If you've enjoyed our jaunt through the treasure trove, that is Ingo Swan's Secrets of Power Volume 1, Pick up a copy of the audio version and take the full adventure with me as your narrator. There should be a link in the description. Find it on Audible. Find it on my website, mrdouglas.com, M-I-S-T-3-R-D-O-U-G-L-A-S.com. Hit that like and subscribe if you haven't already. And definitely visit ingoswan.com to explore all of his awesome work. Thank you for joining me. I appreciate it. It's always a good time. And I would argue good times can portend and import good times to come. Thanks for hanging. And more power to you. <laughs>